Hey everybody, so I'm continuing on with this tutorial series that I've been making recently. Um, I sort of did some stuff in my own time towards it, such as, you know, making boots, making uh, tights or leggings, um, what else, these shoulder armour, uh, wrist armour, gloves. Um, all that was really done using the same tactics I did in the previous video so it's just a case of masking extracting and then q meshing and then you know choosing the poly group uh, so choosing a new poly group selecting poly loop and then going over um, gloves like for easy if, easy if I show you so if I did this um, poly group poly loop like that, then Q meshing, Polygroup Island, and just doing that. Yeah, that's how I sort of did the edges for the gloves and stuff. Um, with these ones, all I did was just Q mesh it up and then Q mesh poly loop, do that, and then Q mesh poly loop up like that. That's all I really did for these pieces of armour. It was pretty much the same sort of thing I did in the last video, but it's just looking at my concepts and thinking, oh, what do I want in my next thing? The cape was pretty simple. All I did was just, um, all I did was just append a uh, plane, um, then just scale it, then move it round, wrap it round bridge these two edges here. Yeah, just bridge those edges. Um, then go and see remesh. It's all quite simple. Um, the reason that's showing two-sided is because display properties double. If you click that, you can see it in double-sided. If not, you can just see the one side that it has. So yeah. Now, this video is to do with the hair. Uh, I will be showing you and linking down a script for Maya, which lets you turn these tubes into curves, and then you can turn the curves into planes. So I'll show you that um, through this video. So what I did for the hair was quite simple. I silo it. I created, well, I painted red where I wanted the hairline to be or wherever, you know, where the hair separates. Um, how I did that was just click Z add, click RGB, red, make sure that uh, poly paint's on and then you can just do that. If you had Z add on, it would, you know, be a standard brush. If you take Z add off, it's just a coloring brush. You can do that when you poly paint um, so that is, yeah, this is just poly paint. Then what I did was just, I downloaded or bought a bunch of hair brushes. I got this one. Um, I got that one. You can get any of these. So that's another one you could get. That's probably a really good one to get for this um, tutorial that I'm going to show you. Um, there's another one, hair strands one. Any of those would have been good. Um, but what I did is I got one of these, clicked on the brush, and just did this. I would, oh wow, that's not the right brush I used. Um, I used that one. So what I did is, draw size was 100, well 1000, and I would just, Draw where I want the hair to be. And then when I'm finished with that hair strand, you can even move the hair like that to place it differently. Just drag on this little line here. IMM brushes uh, tend to go on the, well, tend to be drawn on the surface of the mesh that you draw on. So what I did was just do that. When you're done with that, you click on the mesh again and do it again, and you're making more hair. 
So what I basically ended up doing was creating one layer of hair and then filling in the gaps with another layer. I did that there, so you can see that starts on the right, keeps going around. Then this side, it just goes on the other, other side, like that, like hair should be. And then I just did the same with the other piece of hair. So I had these like uh, small little curvy bits. They're sort of a bit of variation. That was the second layer, so the second thick layer of hair. So that was a small, and this is the first layer of hair. What you'll notice when you have that is, yeah, I mean, the reason I'm not doing all the hair and showing you how to, you know, do the hairstyle is because it just takes way too long. It's quite tedious. Just look up different hairstyles um, and, you know, draw your IM, IMM curves how you want them to be. It's quite simple. Um, so what you want to do with this, because they're all different polygroups, I'm going to do auto groups, then merge similar groups. That's fine. Then you want to press control shift, click on that polygroup, click on each of these polygroups of hair. When that's done, um, split, split hidden, and that'll be done. Then you go in polygroups, auto groups, so they're all different polygroups. That's how you want it to be. Um, the reason for this is so that a curve gets set up per polygroup or per, um, per strand. Um, so when you've done that, you want to deselect everything. So hold shift and click on the I button to make everything disappear and appear. But it has to be on the, yeah, it can be on any, any one of them. Um, so make sure all of these hair um, things are visible. Make sure that they're all different polygroups. When you've done that, um, Z plugin, export visible. Export. Uh, before you do that, um, export each one, not visible, but selected. Let's delete those, start a new one. So this is hair layer one, or you could say hair one. Let's do that. Then the second layer, selected, hair two. Then this is hair three. You could do loads of different layers of hair, but for this um, short series, I'm just gonna do three. Um, I might end up changing the hair later on in my own time, but this is just a tutorial for you lot. Um, so yeah, go into Maya, hair layer one. Let's bring that in first. Right. That is all there. Now you're gonna want these bonus tools. I will link, well you can just type in Maya bonus tools or I'll link the thing for Maya so you can download it yourself. Um, but yeah, you're gonna want that bonus tools thing and I'll also link the script below for you guys so you can turn these tubes into curves. So when you've done that, file, um, general editors. Oh, wait, no, do that. Um, mesh, separate, and you should have all these different curves that you've done or made into different surfaces. All in one group. That's what you're going to want. Then go to General Editors, Script Editor, and you'll find this Convert Hair Tube to Curve Script. You, you're going to need to open Script and yeah, just open where the script is. And when you've done that, Convert Hair Tubes to 
curves, you'll find all these uh, hair tubes you had are now curves. Select your poly two curves, select first CV. If they're down there, all you're going to want to do is, they are most likely going to be down there. They may not be. They need to be at the top where the, where the hair strand starts. So when you've done that, go to, where is it, curves, reverse direction. And now you can see all of it as reversed. So all those points are where they should be. Go poly to curve. So select all of them again. Bonus tools, modeling, curve to ribbon mesh. It'll take some time to process, depending on your PC. I'm not sure if this script, it, I think the script should work for Mac. But yeah. Um, once that's done, uh, when, when they're all finished, you'll find they're all selected. You can find length divisions, which is basically how many times they are divided. Um, I think three is fine for that. Um, but yeah, length divisions changes how many subdivisions there are in the planes. So I choose 30. That gives it a nice, uh, nice amount of curvature. When you've done that, go into your object mode. Select all the ones that are black, or the ones that reverse faces. So select all of these. So when they're all selected, mesh display, reverse. That worked for them, but why didn't it work here? Let's see, um, reverse. You might just have to do it for each one individually. Um, I mean, when they're, all, when they're all done, so I finished it off. Delete the poly to curves. You can, in theory, keep them, but there's no point. Um, you can see that all the right way round. Um, there you could do width two to make them thicker. Um, yeah, I mean that's that basically works, I guess. So let's go into mesh, combine, or um, where's group? There we go, group. Yeah, let's move that there so it's not in the ribbon mesh or the very top. Right, so that'll be your first layer done. Then let's get rid of that. Oh. Um, yeah. So let's go into the next part. Hair two. This is just a thicker layer. This is your sort of second layer or second hair tube layer. Um, pretty much do the exact same thing. So edit, not edit. Um, general editor, script editor. Oh, I keep forgetting that first bit. Mesh, separate. That. Um, general editor, script editor. Convert to curves. All right, so they are now all curves. Are they all, let's see, select, first CV. So yeah, when that's done, go into that. Um, bonus tools, modeling, curve to ribbon mesh. Let's go into 30 for that. Um, width two. Delete all that. All right, so you have that. All of these, you'll need to go into that and just reverse each face so that they're all facing the right way. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much done. Um, some faces are angled, strange, so yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty much the same sort of thing. Keep doing that. Um, Let's go into hair three. All right, no, first. Let's group all these as the second layer. Uh, mesh, no, edit, group. Group two. Let's go into hair, yeah, hair three. Let's bring that in. So 
after that, we need to go into mesh, separate, select um, windows, general editors, script editor, execute. And these get turned into sort of wavy, wavy curves. Um, do that, let's select first CV. That's already at the top, so it doesn't matter. Bonus tools, curved rubber mesh. As you can see, these aren't wavy at all. They're just, um, I'll oh, say, they're just straight. So maybe six, that didn't work. Um, I think five maybe, or four. Four might be fine. Let's go into say, the wavy, they were a little bit wavy, not very wavy. If you want them to be really curly, you're gonna need like a lot of polygons for it. Uh, I'm not too fussed about it, so I'm just, I'm just gonna do 30. Right, so that's done. Um, mesh display, reverse, reverse, yeah, they're all fine. And these were your third group. So, edit, group, right, so now you have your hairstyle. Going to UVs, they do technically have UVs, but you're gonna to have to manually edit them. Um, yeah, I mean, probably the best idea for when you do that is get an opacity map. Um, just do this. Sign your material, blin, um, transparency. File, image name, let's just drag that on. Or open it instead. Um, opacity, let's do that. Um, is that it? No, that's not it. Yeah, so now you can actually see the hair um, and how it acts. Um, it looks cool, I'll give it that, but if you go into that, it's all, it's all messed up. Um, it's, well, it's all the hair put together. So if you want to look at it properly, um, um, where is it? You can, oh, so there was a, yeah, there we go, display image. Um, let's do, is that going down? Yeah, it is going, is it? You can line it up exactly how you want it to be. Um, yeah, so you can see that's the bottom of it. If I go into group one, or group two, group two, let's just say I want it to be like that. Just need to place it. This will be the top of it. Um, yeah, so that's our hair strand for group two. 
looks a lot nicer. So, object mode. That would, I mean, let's do group one as well, just to sort of demonstrate a bit more. Group, group one is supposed to be quite a thick, um, I suppose it's sort of thick, so maybe let's have that as it. So this little bit here shall be our first layer. Yeah, um, group three. Group three, let's have it wavy like this. So, that'll be the start of it. And that's, that's our hair now. Let's do, I don't know, let's go into Hypershade. Um, select, is it, I thought I did Blin one. Yeah, Blin one, let's just do, I don't know, brown or something. Um, Let's maybe have it brown. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, it's a nice hairstyle. Um, yeah, so that's how you get your sort of tube meshes. I think it was a very long video, to be fair, but um, that's how you get your tube meshes um, like that into you know, hair polys like this. I think that in that hairstyle is 7,424 polys, which isn't bad. Um, so if you ever wanted to know how to get, you know, your, your tube meshes and all that, looking from like that to, you know, an actual mesh, then, well, into uh, poly strips, then there you go. So, I mean, I've... I've Learned something because I think that was the first time I properly went through it. Um, so yeah, it's good for me. I learned something. Hopefully, you guys learned something as well. I will definitely link those scripts below so you guys can use them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd probably say this is more useful. Well, this is an easier method for hair creation than creating the poly strips and. Like placing on the head, head um, because these IMM strips you can get really nice looking hair strands and hair polys, you can get them really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, you could do more than three groups, you could do loads and loads of groups, but I mean, three groups worked, I guess. So, yeah, if you learned something, please let me know if it was helpful. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for more of this content. I will be continuing this. So now I've got the character all sorted out. Um, yeah, now I've got the entire, well, most of the characters sorted out. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do um, for the design. I might make some weapons later on. But the next part of this series will just be... Um, the next part of the series will just be the texturing um i might yeah you know, i think the next part i actually try and do is a marry um just marry um tutorial for you guys but yeah i mean i hope it was useful um if it was useful let me know and yeah i hope your models are all good and i'll see you in the next video